Hey, this is Drew from Quixotic Racing. So today is going to be an example of back float to front float and then front float to back float. So we'll just kind of go through it. Um, so first one we're going to see is back float into front float. So you can see she just kind of throws her body over. There's a couple of different ways to do that. We'll watch it in slow motion. Um, what she opted to do. So you start ears in the water. So the key to doing a backflow is making sure your ears are in the water. You want to lift your chest as if you're being pulled up by your chest. It's okay if your legs go down. And then what she does is at this point she pulls her right arm down. So you can see it starts to come down towards there. And as she pulls down that anchors her body. Now if you look her left arm is going to cross over her body. Okay, and that's one way to do it. This is not the only way to do it, um, and it sounds kind of complicated, but you know, you just watch it, and she just kind of brings it over. And see how the other arm is tucked in by then? And then she just puts it straight out. And then since her head is lifted up, you can see the angle of her head is up, automatically her hips are going to start coming down. So remember, whatever your head does, your hips will do the opposite. If she were to put her head and have it facing straight down, her hips would come up. Okay, but she's lifting her head, so now she's going to do the vertical recovery. The vertical recovery from a front float is she's going to bring her knees in and she's going to pull her arms down. So pull the arms down, bring the knees in, and then she stands. Okay, we'll watch that from the front view. We'll watch it in slow motion. And then she's over. Okay, so back that up a second. So we're in a back float. The first thing is that right arm pushes down, and as it pushes down, that left arm crosses over her body, enters. Now it's straight. She's got that nice reach. And then she just takes that left hand and just creeps it up, puts it back out in front, out in the starfish. So this would be like front float uh, starfish, although her legs aren't wide. Um, and then the head would lift up, knees come in, hands press down, and you're standing. Okay, next we're going to watch front float and a back float. So what happens here, um, this sometimes results in getting water up your nose, which isn't good. So um, really try and get prof uh, proficient at blowing out through your nose. If there's air coming out through your nose, then water can't go in. So if we look here, she's that nice front float. She pulls that right arm down. Okay, and just that leverage that she gets from pressing down on the water, you notice her right shoulder is coming up out of the water. So that actually helps start the rotation. So she presses down and then that left arm now pushes down, presses down, presses down, and this is all happening while her body is turning over. And now because, again, whatever you do to the water, the water will do back to you because she's pressing down on the water, you can see that her body's lifting up, okay? Her hips are still a little low, so she's going to end up, once she gets all that leverage, her body weight's lifting up right now, it's going to end up having to come back down, right? What goes up comes down in the water, so that's going to cause her to go under a little bit more than she wants to. And then boom, goes under. And that's where you get water up your nose, which is very unfortunate. Um, I feel really bad, sorry. Um, but again, getting good at uh, blowing out through your nose is a lot uh, prevents a lot of that from happening. So let's watch that again slowly. Nice front float, right arm drops down, body turns, then that left arm kind of follows it, and she goes into the back float. Do that again. She has to do this again. <laughs> and right arm push down, left arm pulls, and this time head stays above. Okay, um, so that she prevented from going under. And we'll look at how she did that. Nice good press with that right arm. Okay, and then that left arm kind of pulled out to the side now, as opposed to before when she was pressing it, you know, straight down. 
Now she pushed it out to the side, which just helps scoot her body over. It doesn't lift her way too up, out, uh, up high out of the water. And then as she pulls, then the hand kind of goes deep at the end just for that little scoop. But initially it starts out with that sideways pull, and that will help the rotation without lifting you uh, too high out of the water. That goes there. And then she goes right into a back float vertical recovery. So again, we're in a back float. The knees are going to have to come into the chest. Okay, as you pull your legs in towards your body, arms are going to scoop down and around, and then the head lifts up. Okay, so scooping arms, knees into the chest, feet come down. She ends up stepping with one foot first, um, which is fine. Um, try and get in the habit of bringing both feet down. It's usually a competence issue in the beginning, and then once you get used to it, you'll do it all the time. But most of us start just by trying to uh, touch with one foot. Well done.